watching this. My, hey, my game's 19. You should stream uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever. I don't have it. Okay. We well, <laughs> should have it. So, so I have to ask. You didn't name any current ge uh, generation consoles. May I ask why? Uh. Uh, by current gen, you mean like Wii U, PS3, 360, PS3, 360, and Wii. So, it's because usually what happens is the family buys a console, uh, a modern gen console. So we have a Wii U and a PS3 out in the front room, but they're considered family consoles. They're not owned by uh, anybody in spe okay. specifically. So while I do actually own games for them, I do not um, own the console. So at some point down the line, I will buy the the console so I can play my own games on them. Alright, I guess then I can throw the, the point in. What's your favorite box arts? <sighs> That's even harder to choose. I can't remember box arts. When, the well. thing is, when there's good box art, I generally don't go, wow, that was great. And maybe I should start doing that because I'm an artist, but I mean... Um... I don't know. The All I can say is uh, good box art is when it tells you what the game's going to be like without having played it. Yep, that's, uh, that was my exact definition. Like, if I can look at the game, it gets the point of the game across, gets me hooked by having a cool character and having a good background to it, then I'm happy. I mean, even though Tim and I got into this argument, uh, I'm not even going to call it argument, more discussion, of Neo Cooney's background, or uh, box art, it's very bland. It is incredibly bland. It's just a, it's just a white, like a, a cream-colored background. But the text of the game is really cool. And so to me, when I look at it, it's like a book almost. You know, like watch, looking at picking up a book, and that's how Nino Kuni plays, if you've actually played it for the first... Like, I've only put three to five hours in it, so... Hmm. Oh, I yeah. don't remember which one's my file. Probably both. What are you playing now? Wario Land for... Oh, right. Um, I'm really not paying Play the robot game. The robot game. Chibi Robo? I, don't I was actually thinking because everyone's voices were getting robotic for a second. <laughs> I don't actually have Chibi Robo either. The thing is, my Wii's hacked, no. so I do own a, uh, I own Sonic Colors and Donkey Kong Country Returns, but that's about it because I, I bought my Wii only eight months ago, so... Okay. Uh, that's actually... Surprise, surprise. That is my largest collection of current-gen systems. Interesting. My largest collection is Super Nintendo, but it would be GameCube if you included my family's games. We just have a ridiculous amount of games for it. Yeah, we have a lot of GameCube games in the South. Uh, like, that was like the first game system we uh, played games on for, like, full time. Start investing your monies now, kids. GameCube games are pretty affordable right now, but give another five years and collect. Yep. And then most collectors are going to be, wait a minute, now we consider the GameCube retro so i guess we need to start collecting for that too yep yep and we gamecube and we and it also goes somewhat with ps2 and the original xbox as well um but yep yeah but the, the issue is that there's going to be such a higher supply because games are getting more in the abundancy so it shouldn't be too bad the issue is that it's funny how the super nintendo's prices have gone up and the nes's ones have just slightly gone up even though there's less nes games have more Super Nintendo games, which makes no sense well, in, in an economic standpoint. The ones that are functioning, but the thing is, uh, it has. It's easy to fix those games, so. Uh, only... Depends on their condition. If somebody's a dumb dumb and leaves them out in bad, oh uh, yeah, bad weather and conditioning, then they can get totaled. But because I have actually, oh, okay. I actually ran across a copy of uh, RC Prime, and I still have it, and it's it's ruined. Um, I mean, you can get the game to turn on, but the moment you start the game, the graphics are completely screwed up and you can't play it anymore. <laughs> and uh, I don't think that's the context, because I've cleaned the thing like 15 times. <laughs> so I'd have, to, I'd have to open it up and, and take a look at the actual cartridge. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a piece of work. Um, but I bought it at a, a pawn shop for a buck, so I mean, whatever. That's not, that's not too bad. At least you can it's say you own it. Yeah, and I'm going to just buy another copy. I mean, RC Proam goes for like 250 It's not a very expensive game. My buddy, buddy Tia mentions Sun Faded DVD cases, games, Shudder. Oh, I hate that. Oh, no. Oh, don't be that person, please. <laughs> uh, uh, I've, I've seen enough of those in my day. And you're just like, really, store? 
Really? You, just, you didn't think this would ruin things? And then there's people who, like, they... And even... I mean, I, I kind of get it with us kids back then. It was giant cardboard boxes that were really thin. Um, but people who would take their GameCube games or their Xbox games out of their case and put them in a CD holder and then throw away the cases. Oh, yep. God. Yeah. I never did that, but... Horrible. What, what I really hate about something like that is that my parents have, like, thousands upon thousands of movies, and they do that. They don't have any cases. They just have them in a CD holder. That's, oh. That'd be annoying. Like, how do you find a movie easily? Well, we have a 400-disc DVD player, two of them. Wow. 400-disc? How big is this thing? It's it's pretty big. It's bigger than uh, than the biggest game console. Oh, wow. The, the, C, the Philips? Oh, no, the biggest is uh, the Atari 5200, I believe, or something like that. I, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I don't know that Xbox That Xbox One, man, it rivals pretty hardcore for being the biggest. Well, it, we're going to have to wait until it, somebody has it in their hands, but, uh, yeah. The thing, the I'd thing say it's literally about, looks like the Betamax and VCR back in style, man. I'd say, <laughs> I'd yeah. say that the 400 DVD player... I'd say the 400 just DVD player is about a foot long... And wide, and then like uh, four or five inches tall. But what about laser disc players? I don't know. <laughs> oh, but it's like slightly taller than a normal <laughs> disc. Uh, yep. Uh, I almost bought a laser. I, disc I still need once. to get a CDI. Yeah. What would you have used on the laser disc player? Uh, just a lot of classic movies, really. Uh, I would like to watch Star Wars on it. Yeah. That'd be an interesting one to see. It would be interesting. Just a lot of money for something interesting. Well, yeah. it actually, most people don't want laser discs, so they're pretty affordable to get a hold of. But that's part of why I wanted to invest in it, because unlike vinyl, which is starting to come back in a way, uh, laser disc, not a lot of people want to bring back. <laughs> so, you know, it's a pretty affordable thing to collect for. Oh, man, come on. I forget how to get that. Oh well. I must have goofed up in this room or something. But yeah, definitely. Well, you, Sonic, you may not even own 400 DVDs. We own over a thousand just movies. That's, that's just... Oh. Not getting into discs for seasons or CDs. That's, I'm sorry, that's unfathomable in my head. But that's not even me. That's my parents. All all my stuff is in here, and it and that sounds like how I'm gonna be with games. But that's okay. I'm fine with the games. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm gonna be at at one point too. I'll be like, "Hey, son, you want to play some video games?" Yeah, Dad. Uh, what game do you want to play? Stares at giant wall of games for ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play that one. No, no, Which I one? see. Like Twelve in that spot. See, I already have a plan for my kids. My kid's gonna start by playing Pac-Man because he's gonna learn how to use a joystick. Yeah. And from there, that, from there, I'm gonna hand him Super Mario Brothers. He's then gonna learn how to use buttons. Then from there, we'll slowly migrate up to the Super Nintendo, and then the N64, and then from that point, I don't really care because the games just kind of are about the same in terms of level of difficulty. Yeah, I've kind of got this plan of my own as well start kids with the i want to start them with a joystick but uh we'll see <laughs> it depends on if uh if that's feasible because i'm thinking of just starting them with ness and then going up from there and so the thing will be like you have to beat three games on each console before you can play the next one and so that'll okay. force them to beat some of the games and then uh just hand to mega man 2 They'll have enough fun. <laughs> it's not too bad until you get to the end where it just freaking's like balls in the meat grinder. But other than that, it's not too bad. Mega Man and 2 it, should not be the first person <laughs> video game of this era. T TM said he's going to be throwing his two year old right into Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, um, well, yeah, that's one way to do it. You're going to learn the fast way. You're going to learn. <laughs> Yeah, you, you you have to get an hour in to the first save point, otherwise no dinner tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Video games will be your life. 
Billy, did you finish that level in Mega Man? No, it was too hard. Well, yeah. you can't have dessert then. Oh, man. But I, <laughs> can I at least go outside? No. Billy, <laughs> you did guys you see do your homework again? Face. No, I played Mega Man. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what if your kids don't want to play video games? Then... then you just can't have that. I'll disown them. <laughs> that's, that's less brutal, but I'm, yeah. I'm joking. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Make me wow. Yeah, I'd be I a total joke if I did that. I was joking. I don't know. As long as they like books or games, I really don't give a rat's ass which one they like. As long as they are fueling their imagination with good things, I am okay with it. That's the good, good way of thinking. Yep. But it must be video games. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm feeling Pac-Man's pretty easy to learn off of. It's, it's, it's a definite game that could be... You can learn a lot just from Pac-Man. Yep. Yeah, seems like a pretty I simple still can, game. On my own, I still can, like, never decide of, like... I don't, if, like, if video games is my favorite kind of media thing right now, or if movies... I can never decide. Well, I'm kind of split, too, because I love uh, animation, but, I mean... Also By the way, anyone games. from PlayStation in the stream right now? I am. Video games. Well, you know. Is that it? That's about me. Call then. <laughs> I'm actually both, but in I picked PlayStation because it's the side that needed the most help at the time. At, at the, the time. time. At the time. Not anymore. No. So I. Not anymore. I I own most. No. Uh, yeah. No. I now own all. So well, all yeah, Nintendo uh, systems and all Sony's. So. so you have a Virtual Boy, yeah? Oh no, that's still one. I, I take that back. That's still one I have to get. Okay, because that's one I eventually want to own, just out of curiosity's sake. But I don't know, because nah. at the same time, maintenance on that thing can be just a. Yeah. Well, I'm an electrical engineer, so that kind of stuff. Auto needs to me. ask the PlayStation questions. But. Okay. So you want me to add no. her to the call so she can ask the questions? Sure. Should I play a PlayStation game while we're doing the PlayStation questions? I don't think it matters. Okay. <laughs> I, I like said one person and a half technically because I'm part because I'm Playtendo. So. Ah. Okay. Uh, I hate can the rumba. <laughs> Are we them? You guys ever hear that? The we them? The what? The we them? I don't even know what you're saying. The so we no. them? If you read the chat, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, I can't right now. Busy being shot. By I don't the we them. Nobody has one yet. Oh, ha. Get it? Get it? Get it? Heard you, heard. Alright, so I have to ask. So I own a Wii U, but I have to ask. Wii U, PS4, or Xbox One? You... Oh, don't do this. Hey, don't I'm going to do it. Pick one. On an unrelated and unimportant note, who cares about Microsoft's console? Uh, I don't really me. care. Not right I now. I don't... It'll be good when I own a living room, and I want that kind of a device, but I don't own a living room at the moment, so yeah, I don't care. I, we can't make the decision on, between Wii U, PS4, and, and Xbox One, because two of the three consoles haven't even come out yet. Right, yeah. but you know their launch lineup. I'm talking purely on the game sake. Like for me, I own the Wii U. I'm really nervous for sales wise for it because, you know, it's really not selling well. Yes, I think it'll pick up by the time the end of the year. Hopefully they can reach their nine million mark. Hopefully. I actually yeah, have no idea what the lineup is what the initial lineup for games is on the PS4. I I'm excited for the PS4. I don't know if I'm getting it yet on launch because there's not really a game that gets I mean it depends on I have a reason in the background money wise, I'm just trying to see if I can swing it or not yet, but Knack is the only one that really truly pushes me on the PS4. Um, the others are just shooters that just seem to be there. Does that make sense? Yeah. So it, It'll be an interesting race, to say the least. Uh, well, could someone tell me what the PS4 launch camp games are supposed to be? Uh, I'll look it up for you. They have that Spark game or whatever it is. That looked interesting. Uh, that was Xbox that released on Xboxes. No, Xbox? no, no, no. You're you're thinking of the building thing. I'm thinking of the game where you you control this robot thing that can grab Knack. items and have it make themselves bigger. Knack. 
Knack. Okay, that's what it's called. That's what five I'm letters. Talking. I had it half right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the launch, half, the, 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 half life. The PS4, the, the launch games for the PS4 is Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, Backlight Retribution, Call of Duty Ghosts, Contrast, The Crew, The Dark Sorcerer, Daylight, DC Universe Online, Deep Down. Wait, what the hell? This is not a launch. This is just everything's being made for it right now. Oh. IGN, you lie. Trying to figure out what console. Oh, here we go. List of PS4 launch games. Here we go. Okay, Assassin's Creed 4, Battlefield 4, Call of Duty Ghost, DC Universe Online, Drive Club, FIFA 14, Just Dance 2014, Killzone Shadowfall, Knack, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Madden NFL 25, NBA 2K14, NBA Live 14, Skylander Swap Force, Warframe, and Watch Dogs. I heard one game 